so tired. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Taylor and I make scrunchies and bows. I've been doing so for almost 10 years now. In today's video, I'm going to be getting ready for my Christmas launch. I have purchased a whole bunch of new fabrics for the Christmas release and I've also got so much fabric from last year's Christmas uh, releases and probably the year before. I'm a collector, as we know. If you haven't already, go like this video and subscribe to my channel because I will be trying to do different content. Just bear with me. Bear with me. It's going to take a bit. <laughs> I will be releasing these in a few days, the first week of October. I'll also be doing a separate release for the advent calendars because it's just too much to all do all at once and I need a little bit more time to prep them. I'm going to be getting a whole bunch of items ready in this vlog, but I'm also going to be choosing some fabrics to launch as well just because I can. <laughs> Not just choose Christmas, I want to choose like maybe three or four other prints. I also want to try and do key fobs this month and I want to try and do some new hair claws because I haven't actually uploaded any new hair claws this year at all. If I can get some more hair claws up, that would be nice as well. These are all of these new prints that I've just purchased. So there will be a couple of new prints that are just going to be for the advent calendar later on in the year. Well, really it's not later on, it's really this month that's coming up. We're going to have heaps of different types of advents this year. But I'll grab out the Christmas stuff. I want five new key fobs, three new scrunchy key fobs, a new heap of bows, a heap of scrunchies. I probably won't do too many of the Christmas because I feel like last year I did that and it was just too much. Especially if I'm going to be making heaps. I am thinking about uploading this one though because it is like a dark brown colour for the XL. And I'm going to have heaps of Christmas prints for XL as well. So all of these. This one was going to be for the advent calendar. I was going to also do two new Halloween prints because I got those recently. Now I already do have this one online. It's just like the normal green satin. I had this one online so all I have to do is just like re-upload it. This one was Valentine's red but now it's going to be Christmas red and I will be uploading this one. So this one's like a dark green. So there's quite a few already there. So have a look at what's in the cupboard. It's so heavy. have so many here. Alright, so I got these three which haven't been online before, so they're satin ones. So those, I don't think I'll do these fabrics. I have a lot of candy cane. That's probably the most popular one, especially for bows and scrunchies. So both candy canes will go up. Then I've got like Australian range, which they're really cute, so I want them up. I mean, that can be an XL. These can just be normal size because I don't have much of those left. I feel like these ones are just going to be normal because I don't have much. Oh my god, there's so many. Um, Alright, so we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, and I don't know whether to put these ones up. Oh my goodness. Probably like more like 34, 4, 35. That's a lot.
ました。
All right, so last night I put some elastic through the thin, the petite, and the regular wide elastic scrunchies, but I didn't really film it, uh, well, most of it, and I only did, like, one of each, because um, it's, like, it's only, like, nine hours until launch, so I don't really have time to film that much. Also, I got woken up at, like, 5 a.m., because uh, of the rain. It is absolutely torrential today. I think it's like 44 mils predicted. Um, and because I've got no neighbours, <laughs> the wind and the rain just come smack like this way. And it seriously feels like I'm going to end up in Kansas. Like it is so strong. I've just got no protection. <laughs> and it's kind of scary. Well, actually, to be honest, I am used to it because when I lived on the farm, honest, like I was on top of a hill on the farm and there was obviously nothing around me at all for like hundreds of acres. So I suppose I'm used to the feeling of the house is going to blow away and like the tin roof will come off. But I don't have a tin roof this time. So I'm a little bit worried that, um, I don't know, the, the roof might get wrecked or like the gutter will fly off. I don't know. Like the wind just feels like it's going to take me away. I still have quite a bit to do today. Saw so up the XLs. As you can see, I'm only doing one of each for obvious reasons and then I need to sew the elastic and then like sew all the labels in for all of them and then take photos and then upload them I think this year with the Christmas I won't be uploading them individually because that just is going to take way too long and because like it's something that's not going to be around for very long it's only going to be here for two or three months I think I'm just going to put them in a bulk listing it's just going to be way easier for me to and like way quicker me to put up it just means i'm gonna need some actual lighting like proper light and i just don't know how i'm gonna go today with this overcast like very bad weather <laughs> so be interesting to see how the photos turn out i do have my light box obviously but they won't fit like 30 plus scrunchies in it so i didn't go to bed till like pretty late last night because i was up just trying to get a lot of stuff done. I still have so much to do. I'm actually flying to Brisbane um, tomorrow. So I don't actually even have time to like postpone this launch by even a day. And I still have to get all my orders out from like last week because I'll be up there for like a little while. And I've got to do my YouTube video unless I bring my laptop with me and try and like connect to the hotel Wi-Fi, I guess, and upload it there. But I feel like that's like stressful to do. I don't know. I'm also stressed just to bring my laptop, if I'll be honest, but I think I need to to do the work. And hopefully if I finished like making all the scrunchies by midday. I mean the bows are already done and like they take quite quite a while, so at least that's one thing that's finished. If anything, I think the bows might I might be able to put up separately. I don't know yet. Alright, let's get it going. I only found out that like tea, like cups of tea has caffeine in it like the other day. <laughs> I had no idea that, you know, tea has like caffeine. I was shook. I, I just, I was like, what? But I am struggling today. I think it's just because I had such a bad sleep because of the rain and the wind. I really choked on that, not gonna lie. All right. Back to it. I've sewn all my XLs. So tired.
fun fact here. I've never watched High School Musical. <laughs> so this is all new to me. I reckon, like, everyone around my age has watched it. I don't know, I just never did. So I'm watching it now. <laughs> All right, so there's no double ups in these. So that's a lot of scrunchies. Usually I only have one tub going up. So to have two going up, that's uh, crazy. Uh, all right, I need to attempt <laughs> to try and get these up. I've got five hours, guys, five hours left. And this weather is just shocking. So I think my best bet is, yeah, try and take these photos. Uh, I might sort them out first, I suppose.
Okay guys, um, I didn't really get back on because I've just been like busy sort of getting everything ready for the website launch. Uh, pretty much what I've done is I just uploaded all the listings. I ended up being 135 like scrunchies, uh, but five of the listings had like a bulk amount. So there was like 10 to 30 scrunchies in those listings because I had like the bows, the minis, the petites, the regulars and the XLs for the Christmas range. Then I had like the Halloween stuff and then I had the spring stuff too. And I took some photos against like the white walls and they looked so nice. I think it was just the lighting. The lighting actually turned out really good. So I was a bit excited for that. I've already gotten two orders. Um, one from my friend and another from a girl in another, another girl in Australia. Um, so yeah, off to at least half decent start. And there's a few people online having a look now, which is good too. So yeah, besides um, doing my editing, so I use Photo Room for editing. I also use Photoscape on my laptop and then Photo Room on my, uh, is, it, is it called Photo Room? I think so. Something like that on my iPad. And yeah, and then I just upload it all and just change a few things on Shopify. Like I do it pretty quickly. Um, but yeah, if I had to have done that like one by one individually, it would have taken me forever. And I also managed to like film a little few little clips. So I've made a couple reels as well. I've made five reels for it and I've already posted one of the reels. Um, I thought it would be best to start making that content like as I go because it was just getting really hard and difficult for me. But yeah, that's the end of this vlog. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs>